Cancer, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name is Jen Dawson. Welcome to Jen TV. All right, Cancer, this is your reading for the heartbroken. For heartbreak. I'm using a deck I don't usually use. I'm using my, uh, this one. Jeez, what's this one called? I don't even remember. <laughs> Mystic Mondays. Oh, we've got all the boxes there. Alright. What's the point of having lots and lots of decks if you don't use them occasionally? Anyway, bear in mind, Melissa, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you, but if it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. I just dropped one. There is also a link to my Patreon if you want to watch the extended readings. And uh, there's also a competition running. Take a look in the description box below if you want to win a private reading. And again, just for your safety, you have to come to my website from only from the link below to book a private reading. That's the only way to get one. Other than winning one. All right, Cancer. This is for the heartbroken. the shuffle. Oops, kind of signifies heartbreak to me. So the, uh, the overall vibe, we've got the Princess of Wands, which is a page of wands. I kind of see that as when it comes to heartbreak, I, I, I see that card in a heartbreak reading as somebody, the other person being someone who like, they're always looking for what's next. They're never happy with what they've got, they're always looking for. I don't know, it's like they're always... looking for that feeling that they get when they get something that they really want and then they're like, well, I now I've got that thing that I really want so I don't feel that way anymore so uh, I want to get that feeling again because I, I live for that feeling. I feel like this person pursued you and pursued you until they got you and you felt loved it felt like a big love because they really put a lot of energy in there and then then they got what they wanted and that was that okay what's next what, what are we looking for now page ones is always scanning the horizon looking around for what's next you take a look at this, like, hey, look at me. <laughs> take a look at me. Why is the moon here? The moon is about deception. Illusions. But, you know, as an intuitive reader, you're looking at this card. She's sitting on an iceberg. Well, we all know that that's just the tip of the iceberg she's sitting on, right? Just the tip. Sorry, I couldn't help it. Sorry, I take it back. Sorry, sorry. So just ignore me. Just ignore me. She's just sitting on the tip. And uh, looks like there's a couple of choices there. Are they really icebergs though? It's not the same as her iceberg. I 
think those icebergs aren't real. I think that they're mirages or, you know, illusions, whatever you call that in the sea. Mirages, desert, right? I don't think they're really there. Tell me more about the moon here for what Cancer needs to know right now. Illusion. Oh, this is over. So that's what you need to know right now. If you're questioning that, if there's any question in your mind as to, is this, you know, if we're gonna come back? No, it's not. I'm sorry, my love. It's done. So if you're in that energy of maybe waiting for them to come back instead of moving forwards towards somebody else, I wouldn't wait. They're not coming back. There's no point. You're just going to end up being lonely. This deck doesn't want to be used. I'm clarifying with a different deck. I do that sometimes. Alright, alright. They don't want to be used. I gotta clarify with the same deck. There we go, it does feel better. Anything else Cancer needs to know right now? That's the end of that cycle. It is done. And you're better for it. What you need to be aware of coming up, death card. Deaths and endings. It's ended. It's over. Where's death here? It was like like the death card though. It's you know it's a transitional moment in your life, end of a cycle. It's also a beginning. And I see that's come up again. You got the ten of pentacles twice, so you've got an ending and a beginning. And maybe that's what these two things are. That's the ending. That's the beginning. But they're both an illusion. Sure, I'm happy right now. You could sit there and wait. Five of Pentacles, you could sit there and wait at that door, waiting for it to open again. Or you could go off to what you're looking at there. What you looking at? You're looking at this. Two of Cups. Connection. Look, she's looking right at it. Right at it. Let's stop waiting for that door to open again because it's not going to. That door's closed now. It's it's done. It's 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 over. So yeah, sit looking at the door with the sun reverse and be miserable about it, or go to what else you're looking at. Anything else coming up in the near future? Feeling of well, of course, you know, you sort of end a relationship, you know, you're stepping back out into the world again, it sort of feels like ooh, like scary, you know, it's daunting, isn't it? Going out on dates again and just little things. Like I was having a conversation with my mom recently and uh, she's a tarot reader as well but uh we're having a conversation with my mom and my dad and and me and my mom were saying like i don't like walking into like a, a bar or a restaurant on my own 
and and uh me less so I you know because I've been single for a long time so I just like kind of used to it but for someone who's not really used to being on their own that can be really like I'm I'm I was like new kid in school or something, that sort of feeling like uh, I don't know what to do with my face, I don't know what to do with my hands. Hi, here I am. Yeah. You're gonna go out on a date and you're sort of looking around the place for somebody and you feel like a knob end, just like, I look like an idiot. Looking for somebody. Oh, is that them? I'm not sure. Hi. you're gonna feel like that daunting but also like you're really sad about this ending this person put a lot of energy into getting you so you believed them and then they're gone you can keep looking at it like that my love or you can move forwards So this is kind of telling me it's time to move on for you. Best you can hope for. Moving on. A new beginning. That's beautiful, that card. Isn't it? Where's the S of Wands here? For best you can hope for. You can be trapped in the past waiting for this person to come back but they're not going to come back they got what they wanted and they left there's no more i don't know this person's a hunter they like the uh the chase the hunt and once they've got it they're on for the next chase and hunt you can wait around for that or you can walk away from it eight of cups in reverse you can have your new beginning or you can waste it by waiting for something that's never going to happen. All right, let's go to the extent. Oh, sorry, hang on. I'm not going to extend it yet. I'm going to extend it after this. This is the outcome. The Ace of Pentacles in reverse. I'm going to read this and then I'm going to take it into extend where I'm going to ask about this person for you. How do they feel about you? How do they see you? What do they want to say to you? with their intentions towards you and some guidance from the universe. But I'm going to read this now. Why is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse here? I just feel like the universe is saying, let it go. It's the story's over. And yeah, it's all right. Be sad about it. It ended. But don't wait. Do not wait for this person. They're not coming back. There's, yeah, there's love to be had in the world. Do you know how many people are on planet Earth? That's like 7 billion people. There's someone else for you. There's a lot of people. So you might just be better off getting your head around the fact that you're not going to get what you want this person back. They're done. That They're gone. Get your head around that there's new love and it's coming your way. Uh, all right, I'm gonna take this into extended. Hold on, let me just pull you your love lyric. Don't rush by me. And I'm fine, I'm waiting, anticipating, I'm bad in my time. If you take a look at my um Playlists, there's one called My Music, that's called Don't Rush. And I'm gonna pull you one of these. A personal issue re reaches con 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 a personal issue reaches conclusion. So I think you're gonna get your head around this one, my loves. Alright, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Thanks for joining me. See you later.